hey guys welcome back to my channel this is Mindy here again with another sit down video i hope you guys have been enjoying this series of sit down videos i know they don't do so well on my channel for some weird reason you guys prefer to see me doing than talking i'm just going to share for those who might be interested all right guys so yeah in today's video like you must have seen from the title of this video i'm going to be sharing business ideas okay ideas on businesses that you can start with very little capital and 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 make something from it right there is no excuse okay no excuse at all you can start these businesses with very little money and you'll make at least some profit to now start to now build on as you go along if you have not seen my last video on this series of you know sit down videos on how to level up how to transform your lives i'm going to link the video somewhere on the screen so feel free to go Check that video out and then come back to watch this one so that everything i'm saying here is going to make sense to you so yeah if you'll be interested in knowing some of the business ideas that i have to share with you guys make sure you continue to watch also if this is your first time of seeing me if for some reason this is the first time of seeing this beautiful face if i do say so myself welcome 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 my name is fumi b i make videos about how to make diy pieces okay the sole focus of my channel is diy pieces but i like to talk here and there okay i like to share things that have been going on don't matter this type of video happens to be one of those sharing what's going on in my head video with you guys so yeah welcome 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 feel free grab a seat join us join us don't be a stranger okay come in <laughs> and yeah guys also if by the end of this video let me let me finish my kulu oja if by the end of this video you enjoy everything i said in the video please be sure to give me a big fat thumbs up for some reason you know a lot of you guys watch my videos and you don't like the video if you don't like the video let me explain this thing to you guys so right just give me like a few seconds if you don't like the video youtube thinks people don't think anything about this particular video and they put my video somewhere and just put it by the side but if you go ahead to like the video youtube will be like ah uh ah -uh, people seem to be li liking this video let me share it let me advertise it to auntie shade auntie tola auntie fola auntie neka right it will show it to them and then auntie neka or auntie shade or either one of these people will see the video and be like ah uh ah -uh, this girl could bad care let me join our youtube channel and then the person will subscribe so that is the impact of you not liking the video okay so please be sure to like the video okay so like i said earlier business idea so the very first thing i'm going to share with you guys is render a service okay rendering a service rendering a service can never go wrong that's such a huge business idea that i feel like a lot of people don't seem to know the impact of okay rendering quality service not just rendering a service because if you render a service if someone comes to you for the first time and they don't get good quality from that service trust me the person is not coming back but if you render a fantastic service to someone that person would need you one more time and come back to you or even if the person does not need you one more time that person will meet someone that needs that kind of service and recommend you to the person so it can be anything really so it depends on you and your passion okay i'm always someone that likes to advise people to do things that they love the moment you do you start doing something and it feels like a chore for you it's a problem right so make sure that whatever service you are planning to render at whatever point as soon as you decide right because you remember in my last video i told you guys the first thing the first step in any transformational kind of you know situation what's going on with my nose the first step in achieving transformation is realizing that something needs to change right so the moment you decide that okay i want something to change and this is what i want to do the next thing is to decide how you want to render that service to people so for me now the service i render to people is making pieces for them people that like to look good right you like to go for oh and bear you like to do this and that and you need someone to make a nice hair piece for you i'm the person you will come to right or oh i have a business and I, or i have a diy business i make so 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 and so for people and this lady on here on youtube shows people how to make new trendy pieces i will join a youtube channel so that i can learn how to make these pieces for my own clients base right so different people have different and the services it comes in different forms right so it's it's left for you to decide what service you want to it can even be food right oh i want to start selling food to people or oh i don't know how to cook but i have a vehicle that i can use to help someone that knows how to cook deliver the food to her clients right it's it varies right and i don't want it depends on you and your passion right so the moment you de decide what you know service you want to render it's how to make that service so top-notch that people will keep coming back to you and the power of referrals guys in business referrals are the best things that can ever happen to your business the moment people love your business so much that they refer you to other people trust me you're made like that particular gift in a business is such 
a huge deal, right? So you want to make sure that you render quality service in order to have people coming back to you for different services, whatever services they are coming to you for. So the next business idea that I'm going to share with you guys, so it's like, it's a step towards entering into the business. So for people who know that, okay, I want to start rendering this particular service, but I don't know a thing about that service. It's okay, okay? It's totally okay. For me now, I didn't, my mom didn't give birth to me with knowledge of how, of how to make hair pieces right or so or whatever i learned it from someone so the idea is even if you know that okay this is the business idea you want to go into or this is the business you know path that you want to go into but you don't know anything about it learn it so this is where learning a skill comes into play learn a skill don't be lazy okay learn a skill and in this world of zoom and all of that a lot of people are online willing to teach you at a, at a chickeny Chicken a cost, okay, is now left to you to do your research and decide who you want to learn from. So if you know that, okay, you're at a space in your life where you need to start a business and you, you like this particular line of work, but you don't know anything, you don't have experience, you don't have knowledge, feel free to learn. And even if you know, but you know that you need extra, extra, how do I put it now, knowledge, feel free to meet someone that is already into that business, ask them for advice, don't be a weirdo about it. I feel like when it comes to this kind of thing, it's a give and take kind of thing right you don't want to be that person that keeps calling people because you want to get an idea from them or you want to learn something offer them something and trust me with the moment you you know ask them for advice on whatever thing it is you want to ask them they will be more than happy to help you out so don't be someone that always takes 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 without offering something okay it, might, it doesn't necessarily have to be money right some people are not interested in your money some people will gladly give you tips on how to do a particular thing for free right it just depends on what you are bringing to the table yeah what are you bringing to the table i'm going to use that line in this particular video so yeah learn a skill depending on what it is that you love and make sure it's a skill you love right you don't want to learn something that is going to become like a burden to you in the future and you're never going to use it right learn something that you know that you have a genuine passion for right and then put it into good use somebody else will be willing to pay you to learn everything that you just paid someone else to learn, right? I don't know if you understand that logic. So don't be a stingy coco when it comes to learning. No knowledge is ever lost. No knowledge is useless, okay? When you learn that skill, it might collect some change from you, right? But trust me, it's going to pay off in the future depending on how much work you're going to put into, you know, building on that knowledge that you learned, okay? I hope you guys understand everything I just said. So yeah, learning a skill is another business idea just that that's it's a business idea but a lot of people don't see it as a business idea they see it as oh i'm spending money i'm giving someone my money but they don't see the big picture where that thing can develop into a million dollar enterprise and all of that so yeah learning a skill is another business idea that i'm going to share with you guys in this video the next business idea that i have for you guys is building your online presence okay this 21st century is so big on the internet okay it's so big on social media in particular okay so if you know that you want to build a particular brand and you don't even know where to start from i suggest that in the process of figuring out what skill you want to learn make sure that you have some kind of online presence and i mean the panoramic that we're in has taught us a lot about the importance of having an online presence i mean we saw a lot of our favorite brands going bankrupt and just shutting down completely because they didn't have an online presence and the whole situation with the thing that we are dealing with right now just ran their business into the drain right so make sure that in the process of building your brand i'm so big and i know not everybody believes in it but for me personally building an online presence is so important in growing your business you don't have to be a youtube person you don't have to be an instagram influencer to have an online presence right if there is a service you are rendering offline it's not going to cost you anything, right? Take a picture of whatever it is that you're selling, right? And post it online, post it on Instagram, post it on TikTok in particular. TikTok, let's not talk about TikTok in this video, okay? <laughs> but yeah, TikTok is such a huge place where people, I feel like, don't let me say people are underrating it because a lot of people, everybody's on TikTok now. But yeah, take advantage of most of these platforms. Don't just be that person that is online and posting junk. Make sure that you're online, but your online presence is bringing you money, right? It's bringing you something. It's bringing you value, basically. I mean, it's good to be online for entertainment. Don't let me sound weird, but yeah. Make sure that if you have a business that you're running and for some reason that business is not doing the way you want it to do, right? Try try building your online presence with that business. If you are into making DIY pieces, post your DIY pieces, post your work. If you're into cooking, post your food, post the meals that you make, post tutorials on how to make those meals, right? Don't just, I don't know, I don't know, don't let me come here. Different strokes for different folks, right? But yeah, 
build your online presence and you see how that is going to and do it right right don't let me come here and say build your online presence and then you're not posting quality things right be, do it right learn from people that are doing well if you are into cooking right look at other people that have cooking pages cooking businesses but they share their cooking business on their on their social media platform look at how they do it and kind of learn a thing or two from them right and see how that is going to transform your business and just make you more certain right take away the confusion from your journey and then just give you clarity and purpose and just fulfillment at the end of the day and shmoney of course okay shmoney is very important so yeah i hope that tip helped you guys a lot the next tip i'm going to be sharing with you guys the next business idea is this so this this tip in particular is kind of it comes when you've already figured out the first three things that i've said right the next thing i'm going to say is be shameless with your skill okay don't be that person that's oh you, you cook on, on the side, right? You are into cooking. I don't know why I keep saying cooking. Maybe because I like food a lot. But yeah, I like... It depends on you and, and whatever it is that you love doing, right? But I just... For the sake of this video, I'm using cooking. Don't be that person that has a cooking business offline. And then you post maybe one thing. Maybe you cook a lot of... You cook 20 different meals. And then out of those 20 different meals, you keep posting just rice. Not telling people that, oh, I make beans. I make a pan cocoa. I make a fang. I do this and that. Be shameless, okay? I know a lot of people are so paranoid that ah, if I post this thing, people people will be doing this for me. Oh, somebody is looking at me. Ah, this person is going to think this about me. Be shameless, my sister. Be shameless. Be so shameless about what you are doing and make people know. Be in everybody's face, okay? Be in every the power of social media is free, okay? Nobody is paying your data money. Nobody is buying data for you. And even if someone is buying data for you, I'm sure the person buying data for you has your best interest, right? So be shameless about your hands, whatever it is that. You do so well be shameless about publicizing it advertising it be your number one pr person okay publicize yourself if you don't hype yourself nobody's going to hype you okay and even if people hype you they won't hype you the way you would hype yourself so hype yourself everywhere let everybody know what it is they are doing and make sure that you tell them to come okay you're yeah, open for business except you're not open for business right let them know if it's youtube that you're doing as well let me use myself as an example now you know if you follow me on my platforms you know i tell everybody my youtube channel and it has worked for me right in the past six months right the amount of transformation i've seen on my channel is tremendous and i mean when i first started i used to be all up in my head like ah for me are you not doing the most why are you always posting why are you always telling people why are you always on instagram but at the end of the day when my channel was going to get some traction it was from tiktok right i posted a particular video on tiktok and a lot of people from tiktok found me i mean i even found people seeing me on the road in portacot right and saying, oh is this not you, you this lady that did this thing on tiktok the video under my scrunchy headband was what led a lot of people to my channel that video alone gave me what almost 2,000 subscribers as that now it's probably over 2,000 subscribers right that 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 sole video publicizing that sole video that was what it did for my channel so be shameless with your business whatever it is and even if it's a skill even if it's in the learning stage right let people know that okay you're into you're about learning this thing and very soon you'll be offering that service just be shameless basically about whatever it is they are doing your service your business whatever it is make sure that you're shamelessly promoting yourself shamelessly talking about what it is they are doing until you see traction until you see improvement and you see until you see the transformation and the leveling up that you're looking for the next thing is also gaining experience right and when i say gaining experience you getting experience can be from even you learning from somebody else that is experienced in that field so let me cite the example of with food again let me <laughs> let me cite this food example again so you know someone that has a catering business you've learned how to cater you know the cooking aspect you know how to cook different types of dishes and you want to grow your business into a catering enterprise you want to be someone that caters food to people maybe to a particular office for lunch or catering to over and bed parties and whatever but you don't know the business aspect of it right learn from that person you can go and what intern with the person for a few months and let the person know that okay i'm interning for this few months just to gain experience on how the business aspect of this thing works right and then pick a thing or two right and implement it by the time you are leaving the person's business go back to your own drawing board and then implement those things that you've learned into your own business even let me cite the example of youtube right when i first started youtube i was so confused for the longest time i was stuck on 100 subscribers and i'm like what can i do differently what can i do differently and i started in that period i was learning from a lot of people that started the way i started i was stuck at a particular stage in their channels i learned a thing or two from them started implementing it into my business adding more life into my into my videos adding more you know just upgrading my videos and improving the quality right and at the end of the day guys it's just time okay with time and i know a lot of people get tired of waiting like ah, i've done this thing for two months it's not making sense i'm just going to stop the moment you stop 
you have failed, okay? So even if you are doing this for five years and it's not bringing any difference, keep doing it. And trust me, all it takes is one, one fantastic encounter and things will change. I see myself digressing, but yeah, let me come back home. The point is learn from people that something has worked for whatever it is they are trying to do. If it's a skill, learn from people that are ahead of you in that particular skill. Maybe it's some kind of course you're taking. Learn from people that have probably done it before and pick a thing or two from them and then implement it into your own journey and then just just transform yourself guys transform yourself i i want to <laughs> i don't want this video to linger for too long i hope that everything i've shared on here makes sense to you guys so for business ideas now it all depends on you i can't come here and tell you to start doing this thing it, it, i don't i can't really say what it is that you love but for me personally i'm going to talk from the point of view of sewing and diys there are so many things on my channel alone i know i don't know if you guys have seen my last video but i told you guys in that video someone told me that they started their business just from watching my videos okay with sewing there's so many you can start a ready to wear brand with just buy a few yards of clothes make sure you sew them neatly and sew them nicely and advertise it and for i mean i know from the start it might be just your friends that would patronize you but trust me if you do a good job those your friends will recommend other people also don't forget to post online whatever it is that you make no matter how weird you think it looks you might think oh it's not it's not fine take a picture post it online it's also good to document your journey right start from the bottom and then post i feel like i'm doing a lot in this video and you guys should just please pardon me if this video is lingering for too long but i'm going to cite myself as an example again if you guys go down the line on my instagram you would see that i mean if you look at my older pictures and my older videos you see that it was kind of rookie in the out how do i put it now it was kind of rookie basically but by the time you start scrolling upwards you start to see the improvements right so don't be ashamed of your early starts okay don't despise days of little beginnings i'm going to <laughs> i'm going to add that okay so take pictures post online there's so many different things even on youtube whatever it is that you love if it's a skill if it's a service watch videos make it for yourself advertise it and just start okay start scared start nervous but start and i hope that you go ahead to think deeply and choose something that you want to start off and i'm rooting for you guys i'm rooting for you so hard i can't wait to see you guys do so well i want everybody on my channel to be winning winning in life winning in business winning in industries okay and i can't wait to see you guys win guys and feel free feel free to let me know down in the comment section if everything i mentioned in this video makes sense to you let me know down in the comment section if you enjoyed watching let me know and yeah guys I can't wait to see you guys in my next one. Before you go, I'm going to leave some videos on the screen. Please do well to watch one of those videos. And yeah, I've been talking for a long time, okay? Let me stop now. Bye, guys. Mwah. <laughs>